in the city. Ladies look pretty. Guys tell jokes so they could seem witty. Tell a funny joke just to get some play. Then you try to make a move and she says no way. Welcome everybody to Silent Trailers. Here we are with the great Christian Finnegan. <laughs> yep, yep. And uh, and what? Who? Shit, who was that again? It was MC. Who was uh, that? Did uh, bust a move? Um, young MC. I don't remember. I it was young MC. No. Did the rest? Uh, in this city, ladies look pretty. Guys tell jokes so they could seem witty. Tell a funny joke just to get some play. Then you try to make a move, and she says, "No way." That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't remember that, but I remember the entire rap from uh, Lamar's rap from Revenge of the Nerds. Okay, what's that? Clap your hands, everybody! Right. Everybody, <laughs> clap your hands! We lambda, 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 and Omega Moo. We come here on stage tonight to do our show for you. Uh, Hotel uh, mode. We got a booger <laughs> Presley on a guitar and a little. No, that's that's shit. I just forget it, whatever. Well, it's a it's a it's a it's a classic. I I don't want to waste time trying to remember it. <laughs> All right, She's well, dressed in yellow. She says, hello. Yeah, Come sit next to me, you fine fellow. <laughs> you run over there without a second to lose. And what comes next, hey? Bust the move. All right. <laughs> you want it. That's right. All right, here we are. We're doing silent trailers. Hemda, who knows nothing about movies or actors, will describe a trailer on silent. And uh, Christian and myself will guess what the movie is. First round is worth one point. Second round, two points. Third round, three points. Christian is a fan of uh, movies almost as much as he is of music. Uh, he won easily, I believe, uh, the last <laughs> time we did this. And yeah, he's really good. Uh, yeah, oh, so it's uh, no time for favors from me, no time uh, to mess around. You're going downtown. I just you guys remember ready? the rest of the rap. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> got a rockin' beat and a hot tech sound. Let to make you move your body down to the ground. We got Porn Dexter on the violin, and Lewis and Gilbert will be joining in. We got Booger Prezi on the mean guitar. A little, uh, 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 Takashi beating on his gong. The boys in the moose are clapping along. And just when you think you've seen it all, along comes a lambda four feet tall. So women's are coming out here on the floor and make them show them how you move body like never before or whatever, something like that. Yeah. There you go. Sorry. <clears throat> yeah, ready now. You want it, baby. <laughs> you got it. Okay, I'm hoping that messes with his right. head. <laughs> all right, what if it's Revenge of the Nerds that I'm putting up? Oh, now? my gosh. Ready? Yeah. Here we go. 1979. Oh, I didn't hit play. And here we go. 1979. So the trailer is weird because it's going to move very slowly and not going to give me a lot. But we're looking at the night sky. We're close encounters of the third kind. Seems like all we're seeing is like stars and we're moving through e. the dark. Uh, no. Uh, no, but it's, cl- uh, uh, it's 2001 Space Odyssey. No, it's 1979. Right, not 2001. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think we're seeing a rock uh, like out in space. It's a lot of close-up stuff. The black hole. Now, uh, maybe maybe it's the moon. I don't know. Um, or maybe it's another planet. But we're definitely... Star Trek. It's definitely going in circles Star on Wars. the same thing. Uh, yeah. Oh, my God. Did I pick the worst trailer? Maybe. I wrote official trailer. Okay. Now we're seeing an egg. So there's an egg on that same piece of outside our atmosphere, sort of. Now the egg is hatching. Howard the duck. And, the- and now... Um, it looks like uh, astronauts are looking at stuff, uh, maybe an abandoned ship of some sort. Um, oh boy. Um, 79, alien. Yeah. Yes. Oh, Whoa. Good, good for you. Good for you. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. I left that one on the table. <laughs> Clearly. That was good. Whew. All right. You ready? All right. That's just one nothing. This is worth Shouldn't two points. <laughs> and. Press in play. This one, 1992. Um, Miramax Films. Pulp Fiction. No. <laughs> a bald guy is standing in front of a bunch of people. Arma- They're Ar- Amadeus. Sitting down. Armageddon. American History X. No. Um, it's adults. Shakespeare in Love. Um, the the guy who's he, the guy standing in front of a, a green chalkboard and then now um, they're, um, they're walking uh, all together. A beautiful mind. Uh, Reservoir Dogs. Reservoir Dogs. Uh, all right, two I one. Hate chalkboard mm. movies. Is it? <laughs> Whoever gets this. I have this. a YouTube playlist chalkboard movies. <laughs> <laughs> you guys ready? Ready. Ready. So much tension in I the know. air. I, know, I, I know. love it. This is the only thing you, I've ever seen you guys care about in the same room with each other. All right, <laughs> here we go. Uh, Nineteen ninety six. Polygram filmed entertainment. A bunch of uh, adult children running. So like maybe they're 20. Stand uh, by me. 
No. Wait, what year was this? 1996. Okay. Um, they're just they're they're kind of like, you know, we're badasses. Now there's a woman undressing in front of one of them. Um, they're walking. Fast time, original time. They're walking. Through, I don't. Know, it's so they're they're listing these people. So they're part of a group because they're going number one, this guy, number two, this uh, guy. Days and confused. No. No, but it's. Mm, it's kind of in that genre-ish. I don't know if that's going to help or hurt. Here they are waiting for a train to pass. Now some... Train spot. Train spotting. That's what... Come on, I said train spotting. You said come train on. spot. No, I did not. I said train spotting. I just garbled the last syllable. Uh, of course how? it's train spotting. I've seen that movie oh, like 500 wow. times. Not very congenial. Robert Carlyle, Ewan that. McGregor. Come on, give me a break. Hmm. Of course, you of go course one I more? said No, you one? got it. Congratulations. <laughs> You're the best. No, you know, if you want to do one more, I'm f- perfectly willing to let you lose three to one instead of two to one. Okay, let's do one more. <laughs> All right, you ready? <laughs> I'll take advantage. Here we go. Press and play. PG-13. I don't know what year this is. Uh, Touchstone Pictures. I'm trying to figure Gremlins. out the year. Maybe it's 2009, but I'm not sure. Mannequin 2, Mannequin on the Move. We're in high school. <laughs> They're walking um, with their books in their hands. Uh, Star Wars. Um, a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Just a bunch of teenagers talking to each other. Now one of them is talking to their dad who's on a, 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 a stationary bike. Now they're at a party. Now she's ripping off a poster off the Election. wall. Election. She's American got History. a lot of no. attitude. She American backed Beauty. into someone else's car and hit Clueless. him. Clueless. She's now talking uh, the, to uh, the, the principal. The house bunny. No. Um, Freaky it's Friday. That. Uh, it might be after that. Um, uh, mean Girls. Um, the other one before that Heather's <laughs> I don't, don't after that <laughs> uh, 10 things I hate about you yep. okay you can have <laughs> <laughs> you're just naming a bunch of movies that teenage girls I was are gonna in. go through all of those 90s Shakespeare adaptations mm. that are all that right. you know, she's all that I believe is one of them too like, um, look at this ugly bitch in a ponytail. Let's yeah. let her take her hair down and have her date. She's beautiful. Oh, my God. Glasses are so ugly. She's got paint all over her overalls. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, what Shakespeare was that from? Uh, she's All That was... I know one of them was Taming of the Shrew. That was 10 Things I Hate About You. One of them was um, Twelfth Night, I believe. Well, look I at think, this. I, I like think. Shakespeare. <laughs> We What's, really learned something. What really annoyed me so much about this, like nobody loved Shakespeare because they thought the plots were good. Like the plots, mm. he didn't even mo- write most of the plots. Most of the plots were established stories that he just like, the thing that people liked about Shakespeare was his use of language. Like that was really m- everything about what people study about Shakespeare. So to take the plot of tra- Taming of the Shrew, it's not like some amazingly plotted right. piece of theater. It's it's supposed to be about the, the you know. The word. Yes. So, whatever. I saw Taming of the Shrew in Shakespeare in the Park with Judy Gold in it. And I got to say, fucking good play. Yeah. Yeah. Really good. Was the shrew tamed? Yeah, she was. That's what was so sad about it. <laughs> yeah. It's in the title. Well, what was funny is the shrew was tamed. So, basically, it's this it's this woman that wouldn't get in line. Oh, no. I didn't go. Wait, All right, wait, so wait, wait, No, no. It's really interesting. This woman wouldn't get in line. So, finally, this guy, like beat her to get in line like i think physically and emotionally mostly emotionally right so at the end of the play she's like no guys are great we should all be in line like this kind of speech yeah and people got people misunderstood they're such fucking morons people in the audience misunderstood and started booing and it's like dude where she got abused and is now like it's sarcastic sort of like you get that she's like just a zombie and it's like they're like no don't say shit like that and i'm like are you fucking heckling well and it's just like yeah it's (laughs) just because i I know we're in 2018 now but you know this is this play was written ahead of time you know that right that like shakespeare is like hundreds of years ago (laughs) like it's like but also that that wasn't even the lesson the lesson was yeah if you keep beating this woman she's gonna succumb but that's tragic it's not hey now she's the leader of the free world are you not getting it? Well, now they're putting To Kill a Mockingbird on Broadway, and Atticus Finch is the black person. They got to keep that up was with too the deep times. For me. I don't, oh, I, I, I can follow that. Somebody, somebody got that, and it was really good for thank them. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> uh, read people, uh, pick up a movie. All right. Uh, hit subscribe, hit the bell, drop a comment, and we'll talk to you soon. Keith and the girl.com. So glad I was able to dominate it. Fuck it!